My dress is too small. And I wanted to be tucked in and secure. I didn't want to fall out in any spots. Cover up the, the imperfections. Every woman wants to look stunning on her wedding day. Now, help is on the way for Bulging Brides. This is supposed to be down here. What am I going to do? Suck it in, suck it in. Meet Sama. Her dress fit when she bought it, but now just six weeks before the wedding, she can't zip it up. I could try, but it's really tight in here now. The worst uh, atrocity is uh, back here. Um, I can't do it up whatsoever. Sama's in trouble. We got a classic case of too much body, not enough dress. Sama! Personal trainer. Vivian Bomba, a nutrition specialist. Can we not zip it up? No. no. Well, take that. Keep okay. track of everything you eat and drink. And this is your new uniform. That should fit. I'm worried that I'm not going to fit into this dress. Oh, to get that core strength. Sama is a busy accountant who will have to double her exercise. Your cardio sucks. And cut her snacking in half if she wants to fit into her dress and avoid being a bulging bride. Holy crap. You're mine for the next six weeks. <laughs> Mommy! <laughs>
It's not going up. <laughs> no, I don't think it's going to go up much more. Uh-oh. Well, guys, check out the back here. Now, this gap is pretty wide. I'd say it's a good five or six inches. It is really tight. It's also tight in the waist, in the hips. But the problem is, Sama, you know, actually has a really nice hourglass figure, but it's just too tight all over. Well, we've got six weeks to work with. You have five inches through the back, so we definitely have to slim that down. Some's probably gonna come off your chest as well. Your waist and your hips also have to uh, lose a few inches. And just upper body-wise, you have to tone up. Do you vow to stick to your nutrition plan 100%? For sure. Do you vow to stick to your fitness plan? even when I'm not watching you. For sure. <laughs> We've got six weeks to tone up Samaa's arms and flatten her middle. The wedding's coming up and I don't know what I'm gonna do. I gotta work really hard to fit into it and we're slacking off. Hello, Samaa. Hi. Welcome to Tommy's Playground. I'm gonna put you through an assessment today. It's gonna let me know where you stand on your cardio and your physical strength. To get you geared up for marriage, you're gonna be in for the long haul. Start running. Get go just fast. like marriage, sometimes it's a drag. Why do you keep pulling on it? She's very deconditioned, so I can tell that she hasn't done a lot or really pushed herself when she is in the gym. Um, so it's gonna be a big change for her. Holy crap. You're mine for the next six weeks. Mommy. You're his for the rest of your life. If you're gonna lift the veil, you're gonna oh, get that core of strength. Oh. Come on, Sama. Yeah, I got a lot of work to do. Okay, Sama. I'm gonna get you ready for the altar. To do that, it's gonna be step up to the altar. She needs cardio, she needs endurance. Um, she needs to work on her core strength, needs to work on her strength, period. So it's gonna be a whole total package deal. Come on, Sama. It's not gonna get any easier. You gotta hang in there through the good times and the bad. That's why it's called Till Death Do Us Part. It hurts. I just think Tommy has really high expectations. <laughs> Your cardio sucks. Your core sucks. I have to work really hard to get into it. I mean, mm. that's a big gap. It's my stag. Next, I make Sama jump through hoops after she goes astray. You're not eating anymore. It hurts. Bride to be Sama is struggling <laughs> to fit into her dress just weeks before her big day in Hawaii. Your cardio sucks. Hi, Sama. Hello. You eat huge portions when you have dinner with your fiance, Sean. You eat soy ice cream, lots of candy, and family packs of gummy bears. <laughs> well, if you keep that up, this is what can happen to you. <gasps> I <don't... laughs> Now, I think you know what that's like, because your wedding dress used to fit. Yeah. And it doesn't now. Put in the hard work for the next six weeks, and you could look like this. That looks delicious. Delicious? Yeah. Well, let's make you delicious. Come on. <laughs> okay, Sama, first exercise. Uh, opposite arm, opposite leg, V-sit. Down, up. Come right back down. Okay. Working with Sama is gonna be interesting. Sama's kind of lazy. I mean, uh, it's gonna be kind of tough. I'm gonna have to keep my eye on her. Now you're doing a V-sit. Go. There you go. Hard. You didn't think it was gonna be easy, did you? I guess what I've been doing is just nothing compared to what I have to do to get into that dress. Everything is sore. Samad's fitness routines are gonna incorporate a lot of movement, a lot of core, a lot of rotational, a lot of legs, and one. I've had trainers before, but nothing like Tommy. That's, that's intense. <laughs> We're gonna have to improve that form. We're gonna have to work extra hard. Sama, welcome to one day in the life of your new food. We're cutting your carbs in half, and we're adding a third more protein. So for breakfast, you've got one cup of oatmeal, five pecans, or you can have walnuts, one hard boiled egg, and a half cup of berries. For lunch, you have a half can of tuna, a quarter cup of beans, so you can have lentils or chickpeas, and two cups of salad. Okay, are you okay with that? Is that yeah, gonna be I'll enough? be okay. 
You sure? I gotta get used to it, I have no choice, so. So you've got a treat once a week, you can have sushi. It's a bit different, but look at that. We have your eggplant, just half of an eggplant. Okay, and it's, it's got a little bit of oil on it, so that's why there's no oil on your salad. We have three pieces of salmon sashimi, which is about four ounces, and miso soup. Nice. So you have a steak at dinner coming up. What are we gonna do about keeping to the meal plan? Um, have a huge salad before I go, try to fill it up. Maybe start out with soup. Yeah, these are great ideas. We need to keep those portion sizes down. Otherwise, you know, she's throwing out all of the effort and work she's done so far. Mm. Are you allowed to be eating that stuff? I probably shouldn't be eating it, but um, it's my steak. <laughs> I don't know what he's gonna do if he finds out. I don't know, I'd probably be in a lot of trouble. He won't find out, because nobody will tell, right? Get it all in there. <laughs> <laughs> Samoa and the girls. Well, today's gonna be your payback. You had your steak yet the other day? You were eating lots of white rice, lots of tempura, nice and fried. Definitely not in your meal plan. Do you remember what that dress looked like when you put it on? Yeah. The last time? Uh-huh. Well, so do I. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, don't worry, don't worry. You're gonna get to keep it. It's just wrong. Is it? Yeah. It's wrong to cheat. You're going to Hawaii, right? Yeah. Then I've got a surprise for you. Hello, Laura. <laughs> this is Sama. They've been bad. Very bad. They're all yours. All right, ladies. Get ready for a good ab workout. Grab some hula hoops. Let's oh. go. Oh, my <laughs> Give it a push. <laughs> so yeah, really work it. Move your hips. It's going diagonally. <laughs> Gonna work the core, work the abs, work a bit of cardio. So you can feel your abs nice and engaged right now. I'm losing it. I was actually pretty surprised that I could keep it up. So how are your tummy muscles feeling? It's killer. Feeling those abdominals working? Yeah, you're not eating anymore. Once we got into the more complex moves with the coordination, that became a little tough. Why don't you do this with us? It's so much fun. So I fit into my clothes. <laughs> Sama had a five inch gap in her wedding dress. She couldn't zip it up. It came up to about her waist. She has been working hard, but she can't cheat. Yay. Nice work, ladies. Woo Good job, everyone. Your dress can do up. Hold yourself accountable. I will. Or I'm gonna hold them accountable too. No, I don't think I'm gonna cheat again. I don't wanna do hula hooping for a long time. The flight's been canceled. Next, what flight? Stormy times raise Samoa's stress level. We can't have no canceled flight. What are you trying to say? Like, we're not gonna get married? What? Sushi was too much for Samoa to say no to, so I made her pay her dues. Move your hips. So exhausted. Every inch of my body is sore. Samoa, three week weigh in time. Let's get started. Bust, 33 inches. You've lost four inches off your bust. I'll take it all. Waist, 31. Your face tells it all. <laughs> uh, no change. Hips, 36. Down two inches. Let's get you up on the scale. Weight, 100. 23 pounds. Okay, down three pounds. I don't like that. You don't like that? No, it's gotta work more in here. <laughs> yes, we do. Now the weight, I'm not too concerned about, but we definitely need to lose some inches off that waist. For sure. To pick her up a little bit, I'm gonna send her off to Jean. Jean's gonna get together with her and a stylist, give her some new hairdos, and see what looks great for her wedding. Hey, Cameron. Hi, Jean. How Good. are you? Good. This is Sama. Sama was telling me how she didn't know how she's going to wear her hair for a wedding, so I decided to take her to a salon, figure it out, and it's one less thing for her to worry about. 
This is our light hold hairspray, so it makes it very workable. Is that good for controlling frizz as well? It is. It's great for humid places. The first style was a simple French twist. Her hair was straightened out and a side swept bang, which was great because it, it covered uh, her forehead, which she liked. I think a great tip for you would be having a miniature bottle of hairspray with you yeah. because sometimes you do have to reapply with fringe being in the front yeah. of the hair. What do you think, Sama? I love it, but I'd like to try something different with curls. The next style we tried was all curly and down, but I think she wanted some of it to be pulled back so she wouldn't be fussing with it and in her face. It's pretty. I like it. I just don't know if this is what I exactly want. Maybe half up, I don't know. Right. And when we tied half of her hair back and kept it curly, I think she liked that because uh, it's out of the way. Uh, it's also a little more in con under control. Oh, I love it. Thanks, Cam, it looks lovely. You're welcome. I like the way it came out. It looks like old Hollywood, but it's nice for Hawaii because it's romantic and it's subtle and it's not too glammed up. Okay, so I'm gonna take a picture of you so that you have something to show your stylist while you're in Hawaii. Hey. Hi. I got some bad news. The travel agent called. Yeah? The flight's been canceled. What flight? Our flight. Our flight to the wedding, to How, Hawaii. How's that possible? We can't have no cancel flight. What are they trying to say? Like, we're not gonna get married? What? So stressed out right now. There's not much time left for anything. Why are you eating ice cream in front of me? I'm stressed out. So eat fruit. I'm not on a diet. Yeah, so, but you're supposed to support me and not eat it in front of me. Come on. Baby. We've got a seven kilometer jog. Next, Sean gets a taste of hard work and we see if the dress will fit. And I can see that this hook is about to come off. Sama has been working hard so she can fit into her dream wedding dress. I've worked so freaking hard and I don't know if it's gonna fit. Good morning. Morning, Sama. Sean, today is gonna be your partner challenge. She has been working hard. We're gonna share the pain with you today. We've got a seven kilometer run, hike, whatever you wanna call it. Can you handle it? I'm up for it, she's up for it. Good, let's go. Come on, you two. Throughout that trail, there's stumps, there's stairs, gravel sections, hills, um, you name it, it had it. Sama hates hills, but she's hanging in there. Come on, you two. Let's go, baby. <laughs> I'm coming. The steps were quite high. I swear they were almost my height. These steps are as tall as me. It was pretty rough, but it's good. It's good intensity. No walking! Push her along, Sean. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Gotta get you in that dress. She has come a long way. I'm looking forward to the final result. I just hope the dress fits. <laughs> Congratulations. You guys have finished your partner challenge. How do you think Samal would have did with this 7K run six weeks ago? I think she would have found it hard. Very hard. But she, she did pretty good. I could keep up with her. She has a, you know, a goal in center of mind. She can, she, she just accomplishes it. So and that's one of the things I love about her. So I'm very proud of her. What you guys did today was great. I feel very proud that I did this run. It was great. It was nice to have Sean come along for it. Nice work. Let's enjoy the view. Hi, Sama. Hello. Final weigh-in time. Bust, 33 inches. You've lost four inches off your bust. Yay! Must be back fat, because they're still there. <laughs> Waist, 30. Down one inch. Me. Hips, 35. Down three inches? Whoa, that's yeah. crazy. Now let's get you up on the scale. Weight, 119 pounds. Sma, you've lost seven pounds. Woohoo! <laughs> the weight wasn't a big deal. The inches, that's what's gonna get you in that dress. So let's get you in that dress. Let's do it. 
Okay, let's start with hooking it on top here. Woo! How's it feel? It feels great. As a surprise, I invited Samaz's maid of honor to be the first to see her in the dress now. Surprise! <laughs> 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 you look so pretty. You look yes. beautiful. It fits. Jean, <laughs> what's going on here? Well, clearly, guys, a lot went into this because the zipper went up. Before, there was like, you know, a good five inch gap yeah. there, not going up, zipper not budging. But now, see, the zipper does really nicely. And this back, look at this back, is like a sculpture. There's no overhang here in the front. There's no overhang. Top looks great, fits great in the waist. Your waist is tiny, fits great in the hips. Good job. Thanks. Congratulations. Thanks. All the hard work's paid off, and it's awesome. It's been a crazy journey, but well worth it. With her tiny waist now, it's just like a, a really nice hourglass figure. It's like she's like this tall Grecian column, and then this little flower on the side. It's perfect for Hawaii. I think when she looks at herself now and sees exactly how that dress looks and knows the work that she put into it, she can be very proud of herself. I'm very proud of her. Sama gave it her all and lost seven pounds and eight inches. She fits into her dress beautifully and is ready to enjoy her tropical wedding. All the hard work's paid off and I'm gonna keep this going because it's a lifestyle change. So you feel stronger and healthier and you just want more of it. Yeah, I feel pretty proud of myself. I mean, nothing in life comes easy, so of course I have to work at it.